Hello. In this video, I'd like to talk about a new feature of SOLIDWORKS flow simulation called noise prediction. This uses a fast Fourier transform algorithm to extract acoustic power levels from a standard fluid flow solve. Acoustic power is first predicted due to the unit volume of isotropic turbulence. So effectively it's the density of the turbulent eddies um, which are in the wake of a structure being flowed over. Then an acoustic power level can be reported in decibels. Uh, and decibels obviously being the industry standard for, for sound um, level measuring, um, easily understood by most engineers. There's no need for a transient data, uh, it will work with steady state. Uh, and the tool predicts broadband noise, so effectively a, a white noise type of sound. Um, again, in this example that we're going to show uh, of a wing mirror um, moving down the motorway. So let's have a look at a few videos to illustrate this. Uh, so first of all we'll show a cut plot, uh, and this is just a standard cut plot of velocity. Uh, and you can see there'll be quite a close uh, match uh, between the velocity and what we're going to see next, which is the uh, actual acoustic parameters themselves. So they've just added themselves uh, in the new releases uh, to the list of available parameters. We've got acoustic power and also the acoustic power level in decibels. So we'll switch to that one. Uh, and this will show us, again, similar plot. Uh, but now we can probe that and actually see some numerical values for the sound level um, upping, topping out about 91 decibels and that's in the fluid itself. <coughs> we could then um, actually show a surface plot um, of that same parameter so this is now the, the sound level as it would be on the surface of the structure um, which again could cause other effects um, in terms of structural response and again can be analysed uh, later. We can also show an isosurface plot which essentially gives you the volume where the sound level will be increased uh, and this is the sort of thing that you can use to maybe see if the sound is being directed towards another object uh, so say if it was pointing towards the passenger window then again that may cause um, discomfort in the vehicle um, whereas in this example it's pointing more or less directly backwards and so it shouldn't pose too much of a problem. Uh, we can also show again standard uh, flow outputs like trajectories and XY plots along sketches um, again to either visualize that um, sound region better or to numerically um, post-process it um, along a particular line of interest. Uh, so just to um, finish this video, uh, again it's a nice little um, almost hidden tool really, uh, it's not kind of a, uh, a kind of all singing, this is I'm, I'm new, it's just a, a new parameter that appears when you when you load up your flow results. Um, so yeah, give it a go, have a look uh, and see how you get on with it. 